Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make a brace for a dog. Since the braces are so expensive out there, like $700, not everybody can afford one. The one you see on my Shih Tzu over here is the first one I made. And as you can tell where my finger's at over here, I made it as a slight boomerang. And it works pretty good. He walk, She walks around well with it. But, as you can tell where my finger comes up, it doesn't really hug all the way up to the knee here. I don't want to bind her knee, but I want to bring it right here so it fits better. And there's about a half inch that it just sticks out. And she's okay with it, but I want to improve on it. But I want to show you how to make it for very inexpensive money. As you can tell, I've taken it off now, and it's kind of a slight boomerang shape. It goes here, and then it takes a, 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 a bend, and I had to kind of measure that bend of my dog. So a little bit over two and a half, and then about two and a half this way. Like I said, it's working good. The, and you'll see that I kind of like taped on the Velcro so that you don't have to be aligning it. So here's two Velcro strips, and they're just taped into with um, duct tape so they won't come off. And it opens up like a hot dog bun. And anyway, I'll show you how to make this. It's very simple. But that's basically it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this up here, and I'm going to try to come this way a little bit so it hugs the leg a little better. My dog's problem is not here at the knee, even though the ligaments might be bad there, but she has enough strength here. It's over here at this, I don't know what this is called, this other joint right here is where she has no strength to hold herself up. So this is the joint that I'm trying to take the weight off right here, this shape here. And then she's okay on the paw. She's okay on the paw. So here on the foot, she's, she's okay bending this bottom part and standing on it. So what I want to do is I want to, I'm looking at this bone here, and I want to come over here, which we already said is two and a half, so that's good. And then I went this way, and um, it was another about two and a half to the knee. But I didn't, I, I made it, it wasn't that sharp of a turn. And I don't really want to make it really sharp like that because then it'll be bound, but you can't really walk. So I'm going to make a two and a half, and then I'm going to make a slight little turn about, about one and a half this way this time. And see how that works. Now what I got here is a Tupperware lid that I didn't use anymore. And as you can tell, here's the boomerang shape I cut last time. And then I cut it in two pieces because you need one on each side. It's very flimsy. So I could use one a little bit thicker than this. And it might be, make it a little sturdier. But what I'm going to do this time is um, I'm going to paint the pattern on here. And then I'm going to cut it and then I'll trim it and, and, and get, make it perfectly once I got it off of here. So I've basically um, made my... Um, pattern here. I'm going to go here, here, and then I'm going to take it in a little bit more. And this is the top. This is the top. And this is the bottom. So I can actually probably straighten this out right here like this. So that you can walk a little better. This is kind of a heel of a shoe. Like if you was wearing a boot. So it's going to wear down a little bit. So I'm going to make it like that. Okay, I'm going to cut it. Okay, I cut the first one, so now I'm going to, I want them exactly the same size, so I'm going to trace the one I cut and cut the other side. So let me cut that one, then I'll have two. Okay, so now I got two approximately the same size. And I'm hoping, this is me for bottom and this is for top. I'm hoping that this will work a little better than the other one. But if not, the other one works well. But this is a good time to show everybody how I made the other one. The other one was just like this, except I didn't put this last bend. It was straight up. And you have to tailor to the size of your dog. Or if not, you know, 
Uh, I had built another one before and I, it was too long so I had to cut it down a little bit and then redo it again. But you'll see what I'll do with this in a second. Well, I used this kind of duct tape over here. I got it I got it at a guitar store. It's not the shiny vinyls, more like a cloth. It's about seven dollars a roll, but it works real good for this. I start off with just simply a few pieces just to hold everything together. And you want to give it, depending on the dog's thickness, you want to give it so much room in the back. My dog I used about a thumb. This time I'm going to use a little more because I think it's a little tight. And then I want to give it some spacing where the leg's going to fit. And I still want to keep it about the same, so I'm going to say right there this time. And it doesn't matter where it flops over, because you're going to eventually cover the whole thing with duct tape. So there, you see that? It's kind of like a hot dog shape, and I'll do the same to the bottom. Okay, hopefully I get this right the first time. Sometimes I do it a few times. And then what I want to do is about keep the same thickness. Depending on your dog, if your dog's the leg is thicker, at a certain you gotta go with the flow there. So I'm gonna put about right there and call that good. And now I got the little thing here. As you can tell, I had the two strips back here, but then I came this way because I want to make sure this part's not sticky to get on her fur. And I'll do this a few more times too to make it more sturdy. But I'm going to put another one here. And I'm eventually going to cover the whole thing from both sides with tape and, and then close it. Okay, so here you have it. Now it's all covered up with just duct tape. And you do want to get these edges very well with duct tape. Maybe even do two, two or three times on the edges so they don't wedge and cut into, in, into the dog muscle and skin. And in fact, I would cut off those corners. Because that can be pretty uncomfortable. So I would take those corners out. Just for comfort. Because you're looking thinner. That's what I would do. No cookie, you can't walk. So this would probably work just fine. But I like to do a few little extras. Anyway, you get the idea because the light uh, is working against me sunshine so now well here it is what I'm gonna do is I got some of this like sticky stuff you buy at Home Depot I just have some extra one anything like this I'm gonna put in the inside just to get my dog a little comfort and um, and then I'm gonna retape it all over again and um, you'll see how good it works Here's two of the pieces. I did these because the cut worked together and now I'll do the other side. As you can tell right there. Well, the sun's really killing me, so I'm trying to get a better angle. But anyway, here we go. I got those things stuck in there. Here's the brace. Doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, in fact, I think this is too thick. I wish I just had half of this installation. Well, I'm going to tape it all up and show you what it looks like. So I happen to have this Comcast Velcro, I mean Xfinity, that I don't use. I normally use the um, other type, but I ran out. The ones uh, like these here. But what I'm going to do is, because it's very hard to be putting this on every time, I am going to tape this part on, or if it was just Velcro, that one part of it, and then I don't have to worry about trying to um, align it every time. I'll try to do this while I'm videotaping. I've been taking breaks. So yeah, this and this this cloth tape is better than the vinyl. It's very forgiving. If you do that, you see that? You can um, play with it. Very forgiving tape, so that's the reason I like it. And I'm just going to tape it like that. And once I get two pieces, and now this, uh, would, from now on, I just have to, I don't have to line, I just come around and and it'll hold. But, I probably want one a little bit longer than that, and then you want to have another one here, and I will 
tape it a few more times, just even under here, to, so it won't come off. But um, you don't really need this. You can just ace bandage over it. it. Just makes it easier to put on and off. Okay, so here we have the leg. I could not find the second piece of Velcro. Unfortunately, I ran out, but I'm gonna do it with one. Um, so check it out. Here's the pad. I'm gonna come to a poor little leg over here. I'm gonna find that joint, and that's where this is gonna go. Just place it there like a hot dog. She's a little tense right now. She gets like this with every new brace. Okay, so then this guy. It's okay, baby. You know. See how difficult it is? Imagine if you were trying to line up both sides. Come on, honey, let go. She's being a little difficult. Let me turn the camera this way. But normally, it's not this hard. Normally, she cooperates a whole lot. So you want to get it in there well. You Come on, baby. Come on, honey. So you want to... um Yeah, there. She extended it now. So you want to get this on there snug at first. Wow, that is short. And then I'm going to get bandages and bandage up the rest over here. Because I don't have the Velcro. It would be nice if I had the Velcro strip right there. So, this time... See how it's fitting a lot tighter now? That's good. And you really can't tighten it to kill her blood because the brace keeps you from tightening it too tight to stop the blood pressure. So you can go to town and get that pretty tight there. And um, but normally the Velcro, the top Velcro one will hold this down like that. And now I can come come back and retighten this one up. Yeah, she doesn't like it, but that's the only way she can walk. If not, she'll fall over. Now what I do do is cover this up, even with a band-aid, so it doesn't stick to her hair. Even if you got Velcro, you got to put a band-aid over it. And that's no, nothing sticky. That kind of stuff that just sticks to itself. I'm gonna have to get some new one. I'm gonna dress her up, tighten everything down. So it stays really good, and then we'll see her walk. Okay, as you can tell, I had to use some of uh, the human one, I mean the thicker one over here, because I ran out of supplies. But it's there. It doesn't look that attractive, but it doesn't cost $700 or $200 for a cheaper model. And yeah, I, I'm really upset at these dog-loving people that on the web and on commercials and all that. But when it comes to poor dog and people that can't afford a $700, um, they have nothing for you. So be careful who you donate. These commercials they put on TV are so sad. But this people, look for places that actually when somebody says we don't have the money, they said don't worry about it, you know, we'll help you out. And they really love the animals and dogs. They don't want to see them suffering. But the majority I found, sadly, they want their $700 or too bad, your dog doesn't walk. So think about this stuff, and this is the reason I made the video, because I could not find anybody that would donate anything. And there she goes. Well, I'll have her walk a little bit. Hold on. Okay, well, there she is standing on it. She couldn't stand or anything if that brace wasn't there. And that one's not as thick as the other one I made, so the other one is a lot sturdier. But there she goes. She can actually walk a little bit and get in her bed and actually go off curves. Cookie, come here, Cookie. Let me get this on her. Come on, come here, come here, come here. Let me go get a treat and get her to come over here. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on, Cookie. Come on. Come here. I gotta get a treat. All right. Let me get a treat for her. Hmm. Come on, nummies. Come on. Here's a treat. Oh, yeah. Amazing what food does for animals. Oh, here she comes. She walks a little crooked, but she can walk. Before she couldn't walk at all. Hey, go to your bed. Go to your bed. There you go, your bed. Go get it. 
It's way over there, honey. Go. As you can see, that's the good leg. And she limps a little, but you know, without that, you wouldn't be able to walk. And there's your um, homemade brace that helps them out. Good luck if you make one. They're easy to make, cheap. Beats a $700 brace. Well, I won't say beats it, but it does about the same and doesn't cost that much. Okay. Thank you for your attention and good luck.